Hey, what's up everybody? So today we're gonna learn how to root these three fig cuttings inside of these plastic bags using this peat moss. You can use peat moss, cocoa core, perlite, whatever you want, as long as it holds moisture. And on the point of moisture, you don't want it to be super wet. You want it to actually be damp to the point where if you squeeze it and you let your hand go, it holds together but no water drips out. Um, that's very important. If you miss that step, then your, your uh, rooting is gonna fail. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna fill these plastic bags up with these, with the perlite, I mean, sorry, the peat moss. And we're gonna see if we can get these three cuttings to root. All right, now that I got these bagged up, I did forget to mention that I wrap the tops with this parafilm. Um, the reason why you want to do that is so that it doesn't lose moisture throughout the tops and dry out. Uh, a lot of times it'll just dry out to a certain point, but oftentimes it'll just com it will continue to dry out all the way, and your cutting will be unsuccessful. Um, so I got these zip tied up so I can contain the moisture in there. You don't want the moisture to be too much, but you also don't want it to leave. Now, what I'm gonna do is I'm going to put this on a time lapse for two months and you'll be able to see the roots come out. I'm not saying all of them will succeed, but hopefully they do. All right, so now that I got a good amount of roots here, it looks like these roots are starting to circle the bag and I don't want them to get root bound. I am going to pot this up. What I did is I pre-moistened the soil so that it's not too wet, just like just like I did for the, um, per, or whatever, what did I say, cocoa peat that's inside of here. Um, Cause you don't want the roots to be too wet still. You want them to be transferred into an environment that they're used to. So this soil is, like I said, damp, but not too wet. And you can pack it down. You don't have to pack it all the way down. What I'm gonna do for the safety of the, the plant or for the best survival of the plant is I'm going to stick these pots inside of another container and fill the bottom of that container with water so that it essentially wicks up the water and doesn't get overfed too much water. So I'm gonna cut this zip tie away I use a zip tie. Um, you can use whatever you want to tie the top of this, but zip tie seems to work the best for me. It's just the hardest to take off. And you gotta be very careful with the roots. So now that I got that off, I'm gonna open up this bag. Use both hands for this. These roots are, like I said, trying to circle the bag, so you want to be very careful with them. They're super brittle. These roots can come off very easily. These sandwich bags at the ends of them, at the corners, they will rip very easily. So all you have to do is pull on them. And if you don't want to do that, just use a knife or a razor. Which in this case, it's doing all right. You get one side and then you get the other. Take your time on this. You don't want to break these roots. The more roots you can save, the higher chance that this cutting will survive. Pull the bag away gently. There's a good look at the roots. I'm not gonna leave this out for too long because I don't want these roots to dry out. I'm just gonna set it in there just like that. Um, these bottom roots, you, you're probably going to be fine. I'm just going to move them to the side a little bit so that they'll be in the soil. And I'm going to start adding soil on top of that. 
I am not going to fertilize this until it's more mature because these roots are very young and very sensitive and I don't want to burn them. If you have the luxury of having uh, a large tree in your backyard that you can just always take cuttings off of, then you're probably not going to be as careful as I am. But I'm, this is my first year of getting fig trees established, so I want the highest chance of success possible. Clear, clear all the soil around, away from the, the base of the stem, down to the cocoa peat or whatever, you, whatever medium you used, so that it's not covered by any extra soil. It's just in the, you want to try to keep it in the same environment that it was in when it left, when, it, when you took it out of the bag. That should be good for now. This is going to stay inside of the garage for right now because winter's coming and I want it to be as warm as possible so that it can get more established. Mm, that's basically it. One thing I did not mention is this, this cutting is actually upside down. I did that on purpose as an experiment. Um, as you can see, let me see if you can see. If you can see right here, it's actually trying to grow down and naturally it'll grow back up. If you do accidentally put a cutting in upside down, I just wanted to show you that you could still be fine. All right, so that's gonna conclude my how to root a fig cutting, um, when to pot it up and how to pot it up. Uh, if you want to do this at home, it's very simple. Just go ahead and get yourself a sandwich bag, any fig cutting. Um, I don't know if I mentioned that I nipped the ends of them and I put some brooding hormone on them just to promote it. You do not have to do any of that. You can just stick it in the bag and it'll do just fine. 